A showdown in the Commonwealth of Kentucky between religious freedom and the rule of law. Supporters will rally outside of the Carter County Jail today, where County Clerk King Davis is being held after refusing to issue an order to issue after refusing, rather, a federal order to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Now, Davis says she has a solution. She wants her name removed from all marriage certificates of gay couples. This as one of her deputies issued the first marriage license to a same-sex couple during her incarceration. Here to react to all this and tell us what it means is pastor and Fox News contributor, Dr. Robert Jeffers. Pastor, it's great to see you this morning. Good to see you, Tucker. So your point is that the punishment that Kim Davis is receiving may be over the top, but Christians who follow their faith, when that faith puts them in conflict with civil authorities, have to be prepared to accept the consequences. That's exactly right. You know, Martin Luther King Jr. said, whenever man's laws conflict with God's moral law, we have to obey God's moral law. But that belief landed Dr. King in a Birmingham jail just as it landed Kim Davis in a Kentucky jail. And I know there are people who are saying, well, she's not a baker or a florist in private business. She's a government official who swore to uphold, uphold the law. And while that's true, it just seems like to me some accommodation ought to be made for her religion beliefs. I mean, when you think about it, we accommodate every special interest group in this country right. under the sun. It seems like we could accommodate the beliefs of conservative Christians. Well, part of the difference, I suppose, between Kim Davis and Martin Luther King is the reception that she's received. King was lionized correctly as a hero, as a moral leader by the people who run this country, who write newspaper opinion columns and appear on television. Davis has been dismissed as a crank. As she was led away to prison, protesters chanted, love of one, as if her imprisonment were an expression of love. She's not a popular figure. Well, she's not, but you know, I'm glad that our uh, forefathers didn't resign themselves to the status quo. People say, well, why doesn't Kim Davis simply resign? And that's certainly one option, but think about it. If our forefathers had not been willing to defy government authority, there would have been no American Revolution, abolition of slavery, or civil rights movement. Our forefathers were willing to stand up for what they thought was right, as well as their rights, even when that stand wasn't popular with everyone. It seems pretty clear to me anyway that Kim Davis is breaking the law and so I, I understand why that's bad. I mean we believe in the rule of law in America. On the other hand, sending her to jail seems pretty over the top. What does that say about contemporary America? That she's being sent to jail for doing something that people have done for 200 years and all of a sudden you know the law changed. But jail? Well, I think it's a harbinger of what is yet to come. I think as our country moves further and further from its Judeo-Christian principles, I think Christians are going to have to make a choice to obey God or government. And while it is a noble thing to obey God, there are consequences. After right. all, civil disobedience landed uh, the Apostle Peter in prison, it put Daniel in the lion's den, and it put Jesus on the cross. And while it's true that God ultimately rewards obedience to Him, He also always doesn't reward it immediately. And I think that's what Christians right. need to understand. Pastor, thanks for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you.